The market explodes higher as the bulls take control. How high can they push? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so the CPI data came out. The market loved it. They exploded higher for over 200 points and looks like they clearly put us in the C-wave move to the upside we've been talking about. Now the question is, how high can they push this? I'll get into that in just one second. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, so if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know we've been talking about this ABC move up, and we're seeing it play out now. As you can see on the screen, our guys are doing very well in our subscription, so if you want to know more about that, stay tuned for later in the video. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500, and as I said in the intro, if you've been following the channel, you know we've been tracking off the low, this giant ABC higher, toward the 4200 to 4300 area, and with the CPI data today, that does look like what is playing out. With the move up today, they pushed it up to the 1382 extension of waves one and two, so you can see the one circle here and the two circle here, and then they moved up in what's called wave three of three. And that move can continue to extend. Right now, the target for this move up is about 41.79, which is really a little bit under what we're looking for and kind of the bare minimum for a B wave. So I do think that this wave three of three can extend a little further. If it does, the next targets up would be 40.15 and then 40.78 before we see any kind of pullback. Now, if it cannot extend and it is going to follow a typical wave three path, we would look for a pullback from here to about the 39.15 area. Then another move up towards 4078 to complete wave three. Then a pullback again in wave four back towards that 3915 area. And then a final push higher up towards that 4180 area, which would be right around the 50% retrace of the move down from the highs, which is a minimum wave B target. So I do think we can extend a little bit to try to hit that 618 extension. But right now we're pointing at the 0.5 extension, which is a target for a B wave. So that is the bullish path higher. Now, if they cannot continue to extend, okay, we are about at the 382 retrace, which could potentially be uh, of the B wave high. It is a low end target. We really don't like it at the 382, but that is a possibility. So in that case, we would look for it to push just a little bit higher than it has here, okay, and then potentially have this be a B wave high and then get C directly down from there. So those are the two primary paths we are following on the S&P 500. That bullish five-wave pattern where they push up, okay, and continue to extend up towards 4015, 4078, or if they're unable to extend that three of three, pull back to 3915, then push up, or a chance that we have completed a smaller B wave and would look for a strong C wave down after that. In order for us to determine where this move up has failed, they need to break back below 3850, and then break this B wave low. And if that's the case, we could be in for a very strong sell off towards the 2500 to 2900 areas. Over on the NASDAQ, we have very similar paths lining up. So we still have the one, two, like we do on the ES, then we're in three of three. And if they can continue to extend, like I expect, we could push up toward 11,791 or the 12,000 area before seeing our first pullback. However, if they hold where they're at and start the pullback now, we would expect them to hold the 11,422 area before pushing up towards 12,000 to complete wave three, then a pullback towards 11,650 for four, and then up in five towards 12,390 for wave five. However, the difference between the ES and the NASDAQ is that the NASDAQ still has the potential for this to be a wave four, where you'd have an A, B, C flat for four, and then you'd look for a wave five down towards the 10,000 to 10,200 area to complete that move down off of the highs. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there, become part of our trading team, and make sure you love it before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. In the first room, the Invest with Jacob room, 
You get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, as well as all of your Elliott Wave questions answered. We trade the SPY and the QQQ, and we swing trade, which means our trades can last anywhere from a few days to a few months. So we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are interested in day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trade that's so unique something you kind of have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a big retirement or savings account. Guys, we'd love to have you in the rooms so we can make some money together. All right, the key takeaways for today, guys, we're looking for extensions in this move up, okay, up toward the 4000 area on the ES. If they can do that, we would look for a pullback to 3915 However, if they pull back from where they're at now, we would look back for a pullback between 39.15 and 38.75 and then a move higher. If they do fail from here, it could be a kind of a truncated B wave where we'd see the start of a C wave down in an aggressive sell-off. Over on the NASDAQ, slightly different patterns. The move up is very similar where they've hit the 1382 extension. We expect them to push higher than that if they can. Uh, up toward the 11,790 to 12,000 area, looking for a wave for pullback after that. However, if they do fail... It is a very strong potential that that was a wave four move, and we would get a wave five down towards the 10,200 to 10,000 area. Guys, it's the weekend. Grab yourself a drink, spend some time with your family, have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you next week.